So by now we all know about ChatGPT, but not everyone knows about its applications towards SEO. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how ChatGPT can benefit you in all your SEO endeavors. So first things first is, let me minimize my face really quickly, is what you see here. So this is actually a free plugin. Uh, I'm going to link in the description, AI, AI PRM for SEO. And essentially, uh, when you install it, it's totally free again, gives you these uh, five um, things right here. Uh, I'm going to go over each one of these. Then I'm going to go over this other plugin that essentially connects ChatGPT with the internet. Because if you don't know, ChatGPT uh, has gathered data uh, only until 2021. So every single question you ask him um, will only be from the, he'll only give you an answer from the data gathered up till 2021. And so, for example, if you want to ask him uh, what's your best stock picks for 2022, he won't know how to answer because, again, the data is only for 2021. So this extension allows you to connect it to the Internet, as you can see here, search the web. And for SEO purposes, it's great because you can pull in data from different competitors uh, that is up to date. Uh, and then... I'm going to go over uh, how you can uh, leverage uh, schema markup. So these more a bit technical things about SEO, like schema markup. I'm going to show you exactly how you can generate schema markup really easily and with uh, a simple prompt. So let me get straight into it. So add a link to article. This one is pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to go over this one because essentially they find the best place, place an anchor inside of an article to place your URL in. It's pretty interesting. You can test it out for yourself. Now I'm going to go over Outrank article. This essentially uh, is where you place in a URL from your competition, right? And it generates an article that in theory will be more SEO optimized than theirs. And in theory will of course outrank theirs. Now, of course, there's a ton of factors that play into this. It's not just because your, your article is more SEO optimized that will rank higher. Uh, there are a bunch of different factors. For example, link building is one of them. Uh, for example, how well the site is built uh, also for example, how well is your uh, user experience? All these little factors come into play, right? But you can uh, essentially use this to uh, get ideas, right? Let's, for example, do, let's go here to vetted.com and let's grab a, a case study, for example. Let's grab a case study for, let's do this one. Let's take this URL. Let's put it in here and let's see what it gives us. So this is essentially a, a case study, uh, written case study on Miro's SEO strategy, pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. Uh, but now what they're doing is, in theory, they're generating a better SEO optimized article for uh, that essentially will outrank this. So this can help you uh, target your competition, maybe outrank them again. Keep in mind that just copying and pasting this article uh, will not be enough. Also, just like in images when you, where you have watermarks on AI text, they're including watermarks or, well, yeah, I guess you can call them watermarks inside the text. So be careful. Don't just copy and paste AI generated content. I mean, Google says as long as it is valuable to the user, it's okay, but it's still iffy. People are still figuring it out. So just make sure that you don't uh, do anything uh, that can hurt you, right? Now let's stop generating because I think you get the point. And uh, let's go over here to a new chat. Now, keyword strategy. This one is pretty powerful. This one is one of the best ones that this uh, uh, extension gives us. So let's say we want to rank uh, Vetted or, or this page on Vetted for um, SEO case studies. Let's hit enter. Now, what this is going to do for us, as we can see here, it's going to give us a bunch of, uh, it's going to give us a table or of the keyword clusters, uh, a bunch of long tail keywords the search intent, right, which is quite interesting, the search intent right here is very valuable, it gives you a meta title and a meta description, right, for the pages you're going to be generating with all this info. Uh, the search intent here is quite interesting because dependent on what the type of content you're doing, you might want to create informational content, you might want to create transactional content, which is content that essentially where people, when people click and read, the goal of that content is to get them to buy something, right? All these, I guess, should be informational because based on the on the keyword I gave them. And solely with this, you have here enough info to properly develop a content strategy, right? Of course, we all know that ChatGPT won't do the work for us. But in my opinion, what ChatGPT does for SEO is that instead of you starting from ground zero, you start from a bit up there, right? And it's quite helpful, sorry, and it's quite interesting that it can generate all this uh, for free for us. Um, let's do a new chat really quickly here. Um, 
keyword intent, just like we saw uh, in just a second ago, and keyword clusters. Uh, it's very interesting to explore all this. And the best way is not really for me to show you, is for you to just download the extension. Again, I'll put it in the description. It's totally free. And test it out for yourself. Put in your keywords, put in your websites, and um, yeah, just test it out for yourself because the best way to, to learn is by doing. Uh, so yeah. Then, just like, like I said before, this extension, the WebChat GPT, um, essentially connects to the web. You can do, for example, uh, let's do five results, anytime, any region. Let's do give me the top results for SEO case studies on Google. And now we'll browse Google, give me the top five results, right? Right here with the source, one, two, three, four, five. And um, now what we can do here as well is, for example, um, okay, sorry, this was bugging out because again, there's a lot of people using it, but let's do, let's do this. Let's do um, generate me five FAQs for best SEO tools. Let's see what it gives me. And now while it's generating, I'm gonna say, uh, now generate me a schema or structured data, I guess yeah, you'll understand from the results above. Let's do stop and let's do this. Again, it uh, looks like we're having trouble here. Let me refresh the page and let's do this and again. And it finally works, so here we go. It is generating the schema for this FAQ right here. Again, this is a bit of more technical SEO, but um, if you're less technical about SEO, you can still ask him questions about how should I implement this schema, where can I implement it inside WordPress, what should I do, what shouldn't I do. So this is very, very powerful, a very, very powerful tool that can generate you this in seconds based, of course, on the prompts. You need to know what you should give the AI, so we call this the prompt. You need to know what you should give it for it to uh, give us all this information. So it's quite powerful what this tool can do for SEO. Again, you can ask it to generate um, meta descriptions based on certain keywords, meta titles. You can, again, with this uh, search web extension, you can, for example, ask it for asking to pull the top five results for uh, keyword X, the keyword you're targeting, right? And then ask it to pull the meta descriptions for all those top five results, right? And then ask it to uh, generate a meta title or meta description based on those top five results that is more SEO optimized, right? You can do a lot with this. Uh, it's just a matter of testing, trying and testing out. And I think the best way to do it again is trying uh, and testing it out with these two uh, extensions that again are totally free, totally free, sorry. And um, with this, I think the power of ChatGPT for SEO increases a lot more. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. That's the video. Uh, a bit of a, all over the place, but uh, my goal with this one is just to incentivize you to just get ChatGPT, get these two extensions as, and just test it out. Uh, as always, I got to promote um, Vetted. Of course, Vetted, if you don't know, is the place to hire pre-Vetted SEO experts. Uh, I got to promote this plugin as well, which essentially allows you to uh, audit any site. I have it right here. You can click here, see all the uh, meta title, meta description, see the images, open graph, uh, see the addings, your H1s, H2s, H3s, see which images are, I mean, images, sorry, are, are missing alt text, the links. Uh, you can see your robots.txt uh, sitemap. All this uh, allows you to essentially audit the site uh, really quickly. And finally, I got to promote the campaigns inside Vetted. This is a pretty cool tool. Essentially allows you to plug a site in here and take a look at its backlinks, its organic growth, top keywords, uh, top pages to an analyze your competition as well. Uh, gives you a bunch of stuff, totally free. Again, uh, we're not charging for this. So yeah, you can get it for free. Um, essentially replaces Ahrefs and all the other expensive tools. You can get this and um, yeah, for free. And yeah, that's it, I'm just rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love lately. Uh, we're getting a ton of views on this channel, which is, which is great. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.